Hey guys, Ultraman is 52 here. Welcome back. Yes, back to another Ultraman unboxing video. Today, guys, we have the latest in Milk Creek's Ultraman releases. We have the complete series and movie of Ultraman RB. So, before I even get into the unboxing part of this thing, um, two things uh, regarding this release. Uh, one's kind of a cool thing, the other is kind of saddening. Uh, the sad part is that um, I got mine from Amazon, and fortunately it arrived in a little bit beat up shape, kind of like, it just got roughed up a, a little bit. Uh, you can kind of see it right there if I just put in the light, right there. Pretty good blemish right there. Also on this side, the spine right there has also got pretty jacked up too, and the right there as well, pretty lush. And the worst part is, so again, slip cover is kind of beaten up a little bit, but nothing too, too terrible. But opening up right here, see it right there, right there. That's a crack. Yeah, this most likely happened. That's by the way, it's in like an oval shape, kind of like on the back here. And it's almost completely broken off, so I'm probably going to have to take some super glue and just very lightly go over it and make sure just to seal it up and make sure it doesn't break or anything like that more. Also, the little um, clip here on the side, when you close it, uh, that broke off too. So it does not close on the top, just, still, just only closes on the bottom now, sadly. So, yeah, mine was a little bit... Um, damaged in transit and that's pretty much the fault of Amazon not my fault or Milk Creek's fault at all I did call Amazon to see uh, what I could do they said I had three options get a partial refund or I could send this back and they could send me a replacement or get my or I could, could get a full refund um, honestly it's not in the worst condition ever it's still in really good shape so I just took the partial refund and I pay like $28 for this from Amazon uh, with, with free shipping and I think they refunded like me like $10 or whatever of my purchase so I got this for 18 bucks instead of 28 so still a pretty good deal but it is what it is but yeah now not only that um, one kind of cool thing about this release for RB anyways, is that RB was actually the last Heisei Ultraman series uh, to be released in the Heisei era. Yeah. Um, the next series after this was Ultraman Taiga, not Tiga, Taiga, and that was actually the start of the, I guess like the new generation, um, I guess saga, I guess, uh, part of the Reiwa era in Japan. But still, very cool in both, in that aspect, but very nice slip cover. We have uh, Ultraman Russo and Blue, basically Ultraman Red, Red and Blue. And we have some of the movie characters right there, which I'll, which I'll go more a little more in depth when, they, when we do the unboxing part. But at the front, the spine you've already seen, and there is the back. Very cool. I have given away the movie spree code, so uh, if anybody does want the code, I've already given it away. So now let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Okay, so here is the Blu-ray. So let's go ahead and just again do a quick little overview on the front cover. Nice picture of Ultraman, Russo, and Blue, or again, Red and Blue. We got the movie form of RB, Ultraman Geet right there. And that guy right there is Ultraman Trey Gear. He actually has become one of my favorite Ultraman um, look up a, a picture of Trey Gear, and I just love his overall design. He looks so freaking cool. So again, there is the front. Sorry for the glare. The front. Be erasing the spine. And there is the spine. Again, I've already given away the movie spree code. And there's a synopsis of the series. So go ahead and pause it if you want to read it right there. Nice screenshot of a uh, two ultras fighting a monster. There's a movie. Same thing, go ahead and pause it to read the synopsis. 
And now we can go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Okay. So again, I'm gonna have to be careful because this bottom part here is cracked. So like that and slides off like so. I'm gonna put this right here to the side. And here he is right here. Very nice picture of, of course, uh, red and blue with Ultraman orb dark right there in the back. The spine right there and the back showing off the movie form. Which, by the way, a um, little spoiler for the book, the little book that's in, in here. Uh, it does not include any information on what form this is. So right here, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so right here you'll see a little uh, name of what this form is in fact called, if I can find it. And I go ahead and open it up. Be very careful. And there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out the booklet. We'll take a look at that in a second. So the entire series is on five discs. So here is disc one, episodes one through five. Disc two is six through ten. Episode three, sorry, disc three is 11 through 15. Sorry, disc five, I keep wanting to say episode. Disc four is 16 through 20. And finally, disc five is 21 through 25. And there we have the disc for the movie, which is called Ultraman RB the Movie Select the Crystal of Bond. Yeah, you can buy this movie separately on Blu ray uh, at Walmart. So there is that. But still, very, very cool. The Blu ray discs are in fine shape, so no scratches at all on them. So thank God for that. And now, guys, let's go ahead and finally look at the booklet. Okay, so here is the booklet. It has a nice little silhouette, I guess, picture, or like what, what you want to call our side views of Ultraman Blue and Red. Back is, you know, just an advertisement for Ultraman Galaxy, which is, I guess, the North American website, along with the advertisement for the Marvel comic of the Rise of Ultraman. And inside, so we have Ultraman Russo Flame, which is, I guess, like the base form of Ultraman Russo. Main special attacks for him is the Flame Sphere sh Shoot, the Flame Axe Kick, the Strike Sphere, and the Flame Darts. And he has the RB Crystal, the Taro, yeah, the Taro Crystal, the attribute is Fire. And even has forms also here too. So we have Ultraman Russo Aqua, uh, and his crystal is the Ginga Crystal, attribute Water. Then we have Ultraman Russo Wind. Uh, he has the Tiga Crystal, attribute Wind. And finally, Ultraman Russo Ground. Uh, he is the Victory Crystal with the Earth attribute. And here we have his brother, I guess, Ultraman Blue Aqua. His main special attacks are the Aqua Stream, Storium, and the Aqua Jet Blast. And his uh, crystal is the Ginga Crystal, the attributes Water. So it's virtually the exact same. They only have like four crystals. So Flame Blue is the Taro Crystal, Blue Wind is Tiga, and Blue Ground is Victory. So, yeah, um, to be honest, I never really was a fan of the element thing. It just seemed kind of like a, um, kind of like a last re resort type of gimmick. So I think that might be the reason why fans just don't, do not like this series. Uh, that's just my guess. And next page we have Ultraman Ruby. His main special, I think this is, this is the fusion form, I think. Um, his main special attacks are the Ruby... Vortec Buster, the Ruby Kyorin Shot, the Rubirium Beam, and the New Gen Generation Barrier. And his RB Crystal is the Kiwami Crystal. Very, very cool. And here we have Ultraman Orb Dark, and his main special move is the Dark Origium Beam. And his RB Crystal is the Origin, sorry, he's the Orb Origin Crystal. It's very cool. And here are the monsters. Now, one really cool thing about the monsters is that they kind of give you half and half on this. There's a total of 24 monsters in total, but you get 10 brand new monsters and 14 and 14 monsters that have appeared in, in other series. So, I like how they actually did uh, try a little harder and actually gave us more original creatures instead of just rehashing old ones. So, here you can see some of them. Black King... Red King right there, Gomez, 
Arabunta, Mecha, Mecha Gomor makes his return. Busca, who I think is not even from Ultraman, but, but he's a Silver Eye IP though. Pigmon, Dada, Naranga, Alien Methylus, Alien Zareb, King Joe, Grand King, Megalith, I think that's how you his name. Gamora. Again, fantastic designs for, for a lot of the newer creatures, and that's one thing I really like uh, about Super Eye a lot. Um, the only thing I wish that, that, that they would do is that I wish they would actually, you know, put in a lot more budget into a lot of their into their next show after Ultraman Z and make the whole entire kaiju list new monsters. Just stop re just don't give us like you know, 14 old ones and then give us like 10 new ones. I'm talking about like if you're gonna make 25 episodes, every episode give us a brand new monster, like completely original from the ground up. And here we have the episode list. I'm not gonna show it all, but there's the episode list right there. Well, I'm not gonna go in depth on it all, but yeah. And I actually like how the book is being held together by staples. Very, very good. We're not using glue here. Very, very good stuff. And there it is right there for the last bit of episode right there. Yeah. And here we have uh, the, the movie. And again, this is also one thing I really, really hope that, um, yeah, um, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> this is one I really hope that Mill Creek does for um, the next series, Ultraman Zero. Is please for for love of God, since there's since the booklet does not contain any info on anything for the movie wise, just like these two screenshots and a brief synopsis of the entire friggin' movie. Um, give us more, please. Like, give us you know an in-depth look on who this guy is and like what his powers are and like what's it, what's his tra transformation device. Like some data on the antagonist, you know, Ultraman Dragear, as well as the other monster, uh, Snake Darkness. Just Give us more, you know, give us more for the movies. Don't just f focus on the main series. Just give us more info on, on the movies. Because I will be tagging you guys, Milk Creek, on uh, Twitter. But, yeah, you can write some right there. Based on, based on and set after the series of Ultraman RB, it is also the final Ultraman series movie to premiere in the Heisei era. It's very cool. There is the, the Japanese poster right there. Very cool. But yeah, there's a little brief something right there, so go ahead and check that if you want. But um, yeah, again, that is really my only complaint about the booklets for the newer series, is that they don't go in depth on uh, any of the monsters or ultras in the movie. And I really wish they would because that's a whole bit of info that we're kind of missing. Like, I would love to know more about uh, Ultraman Tragear and Snake Darkness. Um, but yeah, um, that's just that's just my opinion. Again, I will be tagging Mill, uh, Mill Creek on Twitter about all this stuff. But um, yeah, that is pretty much the unboxing part of the video. So let's go ahead and go back to the chair, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts on this thing. Really awesome Blu-ray. does kind of suck that mine was a little bit damaged in transit, but that's not my fault. That's completely the fault of Amazon. Um, for those of you wanting to know where you can get your own copy of this movie, sorry, series plus movie, um, well, you can get this off Amazon like I did, or you can go to deepdiscount.com. They do have all the Ultraman releases there so far. Uh, or if you want to go in store, uh, you can get just the movie standalone uh, from Walmart. For some reason, why Walmart is only selling the movies of uh, this series, Orb, Geed, and X, I don't know why. Um, but there's that, or if you want this one, this one, you can go to your local Best Buy. I know, um, or if you happen to have a local store that happens to sell these, then get them there, whatever. Um, yeah, really, really cool. So, now I'm gonna tell you the little bit of a small update regarding Mill Creek's Ultraman releases. Uh, there is some good news and bad news to it. Uh, the bad news is that, no, first off, they're not canceling this. Uh, the bad news is that there's going to be no new Ultraman releases for the rest of this year. So November and December are going to be nothing for Ultraman. The good news is, though, Mill Creek has confirmed what their next Ultraman release is going to be. It will, of course, be Ultraman Taro. 
They have announced the release date for it, which will be January 12th of 2021, and they've already shown off the standard edition Blu-ray as well as the Steelbook Blu-ray. And they've also teased Ultraman Leo, which is the next series after Taro. And after that, there's really only like one more show of Ultraman they can do, and that's 80. Um, but obviously, after Leo, they're most likely going to be releasing um, maybe like after Taro or after Leo. Depends really. Their course, they will be doing the complete series and movie or whatever of Ultraman Zero. Don't know how that's going to work, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. So, kind of sucks that November and December are going to be no Ultraman, but hey, whatever, that saves me like 30 bucks a month. So, whatever. But again, hopefully all you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed the unboxing, please give this video a, a thumbs up and subscribe for more Ultraman related content. So, yeah, hopefully all you guys enjoyed. And sign off.